Hello traders, the uh, title of this video is uh, Elio Wave Trader compares two American stocks with analysis. Now let's get started. We are on a monthly chart of Amgen, Amgen Incorporation, Epic AMGN, Alpha Mike Golf November, belonging to the healthcare sector. And we want to compare the area wave analysis of uh, this Amgen stock to the Monster Beverage Incorporation stock. Let's begin the comparison. Okay, so we are now so we can see on the monthly chart become clear. I don't want, I don't want the video to be too long. You can see that the price. Uh, this is a trend in first. Do you agree or do you disagree? Let me know in the comment section. All right. So in 1993, we had a lot of stock were bullish. In 90, going up up to the tech bubble. All right. In 2000. All right. So from the 90s, so you, as an earlier way trader, you need to understand from 1993 up to 2000, many stocks were bullish, they were overbought, proper sense of the word overbought, and then we have a pullback in 2003, normally in 2003 the stock market was bullish, but there was no trend for Amgen at all, yes, in 2003 there was a correlation, okay, in that zone, uh, but there was no trend at all. But in fact, we have for Amgen what we call a flat correction. This is a flat correction here. And uh, after prolonged, that was prolonged. So from uh, 2001 up to 2012, in fact, that's a long time in the life of a stock market. <laughs> all right. For 11 years, Amgen was just uh, correcting the previous trend. All right. But it was a shallow correction because uh, this is just uh, all right, a flat correction. Because if we have a strong bullish trend, we are likely to have a flat correction, which is kind of a shallow correction. All right. So here it is. This is in fact an expanded flat correction, but it's not deep enough. All right. So you can see here. If I dwell on this one a little bit, you can see that you see. It, uh, because I don't want the video to be too long, my friend. All right. So it went down. <laughs> and then he bounced up a bit. Everybody will agree to that. Then he came down again. That's one, two, three. Then went up. Okay. Then he came down again. Right. And then he went up again. Now, in fact, uh, it didn't go up very much. So this is a classic flag correction. You can see here, it didn't go much. If I compare uh, this top here to this one here. It's a classic a flat correction. It didn't go above that high very much. You see? It didn't go above it very much. So it's a double top, in fact. So we are talking about flat correction. And then we see the rest of the move down. One, two, three, four, five. Internal waves of the flat corrections are three, three, five. Okay? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so flat correction, one, two, three, four, five, plus what? X. This is the X here. Feel free to disagree with uh, my wave count. The X will connect uh, two or more quality wave, followed by a triangle. Okay. So this is what we see. So there was a trend in first plus a flag correction, adding uh, okay a, a triangle here, and now we have another move. But if you look carefully, we can say this is the first wave, okay, of a higher degree or so far because we can't see what has happened here. So that's all we can say. We can say first wave of a higher degree. That first wave can be subdivided into five a minor wave. All right. If you agree, and then followed by a correction that lasted almost 11 years, and then we have another move up, which is so. This is the second wave of a higher degree. So first wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree. Now this is the third wave of a higher degree. So now we have the fourth wave, which is a consolidation. Or is it a consolidation or is it going to be a triangle? So far, it looks to me like it's just a consolidation. All right, so the consolidation 
with a normal consolidation or a triangle is a correction also. Price slowing down here, you see, there's a correction. So we are now in the fourth area wave of a higher degree when we are talking about Amgen. What I want you to do now, because we are we're going to compare Amgen area wave analysis to Monster Beverage uh, wave analysis, which I've done recently, all right? And you want to compare it. So what I want you to do, pay attention a little bit to, okay, the bigger picture, which means first wave, second wave, third wave, and fourth wave. Don't pay attention too much to the details. Just remember, we have a first wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree, third wave of a higher degree. We are now in the fourth wave, expecting a normal correction, a fifth wave. Now, I need to remind traders that sometimes, talking about the area wave failure, the fifth wave sometimes can be lower than the third wave. That's what we call area wave failure. Because when we usually talk about the, the fifth wave, people always expect it to go above the high of the third wave. But there is something else that we call the area wave failure. You can check okay, our web page about area wave failure at www.24elliotwave.com. Check the web page about area wave failure. All right? You understand? So remember that we have sometimes area wave failure where the fifth wave may not go above the high of the third wave. But we don't usually see that very often. The bullish trader will try to propel it above it. So in this scenario, we are now in the fourth area wave of a higher degree, expecting the fifth area wave. Now, if you want to know how far it can go, the, the easiest way at this point in time, there are many ways we can focus the fifth wave because we have a, 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 a consolidation here. We can make, just measure the wave of this uh, uh, consolidation and project it to the upside. That is, okay, that will give us a bit of idea. The target zone, that's the first target. We can use other method of focusing the fifth wave to set other target in place and monitor the price reaction as the price is approaching those price targets. But remember that sometimes the third, the fifth wave may not go above the high of the fifth wave. All right, may not also. Is it hidden here? Is the fifth wave already hidden here? And then we have a correction? We will see. We will see. All right, so just remember the first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, consolidation, especially the fifth wave for Amgen. Let's be on now uh, the next stock, which is a monster beverage, MNST. I know the American stock. But this one does not belong to the healthcare sector. This belongs to the soft drink consumer defensive sector, beverage, soft drinks. All right. Okay. So you see, can you, can you see that uh, there is uh, a bit of similarity between uh, this uh, wave count? So we have first wave of a higher degree. All right. Let me know whether there are similarity or not. This is the second wave. Of a, of a higher degree, and we have a gigantic okay third wave that has been subdivided into five mono wave here for the monster beverage. So you can see the monster beverage stock has a monster a third in your way here in this session here. And look at this. Can you see the similarity? You see that the fourth area wave of a higher degree, which is this session here, is also a consolidation. Amazing, my friend. <laughs> Do you find that amazing? Okay, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> All right, same thing, similar situation. So we are expecting now again the fifth wave. So everything I've said about, uh, okay, Amgem for the fifth wave is true. Also for the fifth wave of Monster Beverage A stock. All right, expectation for the area wave traders is a fifth wave likely to take place. Uh, price, remember that the price can break below it and continue to go down. But our expectation at this junction, talking about the wave count and the comparison between the wave count of uh, Amgen and Monster Beverage, we as an area wave practitioner, we will be expecting in normal condition, repeat, in normal condition, the fifth wave for this stock. How long it will take before it starts, we don't know. A correction can be this, uh, you see, this fourth wave can become messy a bit, all right? Blah, 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 blah. If the S&P 500 starts going down, and then maybe one day, and then suddenly it breaks above it, so you may forget even about this wave come. Leave the line on your chart, okay? Don't remove it. Now you understand why I don't remove my line. 
So again, you can see that the second wave of uh, higher degree for the monster beverage is also a flat correction. See, flat, this one is an expanded flat correction because it went above the high here. It's an expanded, this one here, it's an expanded flat correction, pushing it back down, right? It's a flat correction. So we have a flat correction for Amgen in the second wave of a higher degree. Oh, same thing for the monster beverage. Okay, so in 2000, from 2007 to, uh, they call it mid, to, just say 2006, okay, 2006 to 2009, okay, monster beverage was displaying a flat correction. All right, and then after that, somewhere in 2009, it start going up, okay, and now it's, it's also displaying a consolidation in the fourth area wave. If I bring back again, I'm um, gem. Let's talk. Again, on the monthly chart, you can see that for um, gem, the, 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 the flat correction took so long, but for, 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 for monster beverage, which is quite bullish stock, you can see that it took them uh, uh, from 2006 to 2009, only three years. But for Amgen, belonging to the healthcare sector, probably they were working on some of the products, okay? So it took them 11 years before we see the third in your wave. All right, 11 years before we see the third in your wave. So we can say that, uh, okay, Monster Beverage is quite dynamic. They say the more, more dynamic bullish stock in comparison to I'm a gem, all right? But there are similarities in this wave curve. You can see that both, again, a part of uh, that flat correction for I'm a gem was also, the, so the C wave of the flat correction of I'm a gem was also between the 2006 and 2009. And we did not see any, okay, triangle or S wave from Monster Beverage, it was just a flat correction, clean and neat. All right? And from there, we have the third in the wave. Now we have it. So what I'm going to do now, talking about um, area wave trader, compares uh, to American stock wave analysis. I'm going to go again, to, we, we see the comparison on the monthly chart. I'm going to go into what we call wave validation on a higher time frame, which is the yearly chart. So on a yearly chart, you can see that it looks to me more for Amgem. Uh, that is, this is the first wave of a higher degree. The second wave of a higher degree, on a yearly chart, it looks more like a triangle, all right? One, two, three, but it's a flat correction. It's what we are saying. It's just a correction. So it's, it looks like a triangle, yes or no? It looks like a normal triangle, yes or no? Yeah? It looks like a normal triangle on the yearly chart. And then we see now the third area wave and the consolidation is still in place. This is about uh, Amgem on the yearly chart. Uh, the second wave of a higher degree looks more like uh, a triangle all right, instead of a flat a correction. So if I bring back a monster beverage also on the yearly chart, we want to see whether there are similarity or not. Now, you may be wondering, John, why do we need to compare, okay, stock wave analysis? Very good, very, very good question. Sometimes we can compare, though, the best time to compare two financial instruments is when they belong to the same sector. All right, especially the market leaders, all right, market leaders. Okay, you can compare a market leader to another market leader. When you, you perform wave analysis to Google, you can perform wave analysis for Apple stock and you compare both. Okay, wave analysis because those two stocks are market leaders for uh, the technology sector, the NASA 100. All right, same thing, we can compare wave analysis for. Stock that belong to the same sector, same group, component of NASDAQ 100, component of uh, Dow 30, or com component of major stock indices, we can compare the wave analysis. Sometimes, uh, I don't want this video to be too long, we can, by comparing them, we can find out some uh, similarities or some dissimilarity and can alert us that uh, something is not right in this, uh, okay, sector, especially when we are comparing, okay, uh, market leaders, 
and also uh, market indicators like gold, silver. We can compare uh, the wave analysis of silver to the wave analysis of gold. Okay, so we can compare wave analysis. That's what we are doing here. What I'm doing here just to show you, okay, how we can compare wave analysis of, uh, okay. So on the yearly chart for Monster Beverage, here you see, you see the first wave of a higher degree is still here. The second wave of a higher degree is just a straight line, though on the monthly chart it looks more, it's, it's a flat correction, but on the yearly chart it just looks like a straight line down, okay, followed by the third in the wave. And now the consolidation on the yearly chart. All right. So try to start uh, comparing the uh, waves. All right. Especially if you are trading currencies, you can compare um, the wave analysis of the euro to the wave analysis to the uh, to the euro dollar. Okay. Compare the wave analysis of the euro dollar currency pair to the wave analysis of the British pound a dollar currency pair because. Both are positively correlated. All right. You can also compare the wave analysis of the euro dollar to the wave analysis to of um, uh, the dollar uh, the dollar Swiss franc. Now, because they are negatively correlated, we should see dissimilarity between the two. All right, one going up, one going down. But sometimes, by comparing those two uh, major currency pairs, the euro dollar and the dollar Swiss franc, we can deduct. Am I speaking American asset now? D dot, all right? Have a bit of idea. Is there any discrepancy taking place in the forex market? Okay, we can find, okay, some information, okay, that can help us uh, to make excellent trading decisions in the currency market. The same is true when we are comparing uh, market leaders for the stock market or market indicators, talking about gold, silver. Another market indicator is uh, a dollar yen, all right? So try to play with uh, wave comparison. Uh, that will help you, okay, to become a better area wave a trader. Okay. And this is the end of uh, this tutorial. Uh, talking about uh, area wave trader compared to American stock wave analysis. The financial instrument that we were analyzing is uh, Amgen. Uh, that belong to the healthcare sector, and uh, okay, monster beverage that belongs to the consumer defensive sector, soft drink. We compare the wave analysis on the monthly chart first, both, and also wave analysis of two stocks, okay, on the yearly chart. We see that there are similarities when it comes to the fourth wave, mainly fourth wave, and also in the second wave, both have uh, both have uh, okay, um, a flat uh, correction. This is about okay, area wave trader compared to American stock wave analysis. All right? If you have any question or suggestion, please feel free to put in a comment section. I always read the comment, and in due course, I will record another video to answer your specific question. If you find this video useful, all right, let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you think that Joe, this is another blah 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 blah, all right, let us know also by giving us the thumbs down. If you think that this is an essential tutorial, all right, feel free to share it on Google Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about area wave trader compared to American stock waves analysis. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and I'll be very happy. Speak to you soon.